hi guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl as always Dorcas. some of you might have seen you know me make videos saying that oh my filipino grandmother this my filipino grandmother that even a video i made with raymond my boyfriend when he met my filipino grandmother yeah and i am you know sad to tell you that she is no more what you are in what's that <laughs> No, Lola. Hello, 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 Tell Lola the truth. Oh, Lola, speaking English, huh? Yeah, I told yeah, you. Lola, I bring only three English. Uh, so when the, I want two. I have two. two so Lola has two English. Nice, you got a nice thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, how many names? Wow. Um, yeah, from Negros. Ah. Uh -huh. yeah. But now I'm So are you either three from Mango? Yeah. Yeah. My father only. Not from Madugo, only from Madugo. Uh -huh. yeah. Because I have a photo shoot before I start in Madugo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Mayan. You know, I'm Mr. Oh, Mayan, yeah. Mad. Uh, Rich man there. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> By the way, what's the time now? Um, same yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Have you eaten your lunch? Will we eat now? Um, huh? Now you will eat? Yeah. I, later, wait a uh, Lola. You know, my daughter baby went to the market. Oh. Now. Okay, Together then. with my younger sister. Yeah. Lola, what is your age? I think. Uh, you want to guess? 57? No. 23? 70? Very old lady. Uh, uh, how about your mother? Um, how old is she? She said 50 <laughs> something. <laughs> young at all. How do you say? You see, my Lola can speak good English. You see uh, that? Yeah. No. You know, my Lola, your English is so deep, I can swim. <laughs> Lola is interviewing Raymond. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I see. Ah, that's so. Handsome boy. Oh. Hello. are going to the market, huh? Okay, guys. Uh. As soon as you will open the rice cooker, sir. Oh. It's something, huh? Okay, guys. Uh. So you should ban S O S. Oh, yeah. Daddy, S O S. Get a seat. Yeah, you get a chair. Yeah. You are here for interview. You will, <laughs> you will talk. Be at home, darling. <laughs> Be at home, darling, guys. I'm here. Thank you for telling me, handsome. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. it's true. New Year. Oh. Good luck for me because you're the one who called so me. So you will give me. Uh, Christmas gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, for, uh, for the coming Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you you see that? You are funny, handsome boy. Oh, oh, you, you see that? Oh, <laughs> door, door. Door. You get your food here? Eh? Yeah. I'm enjoying your interview with him. Yes. Just feel at home. Yeah. I told him. I have a little bit drink for yeah. us. And we used to, That's fine. I used to drink coke because in the end there's a metery, there's no coke. Oh. My philosophy in life. <laughs> yeah. My mm. my daughter doesn't like because I am sick with diabetes. Yeah, Lola is diabetic, but Lola likes drinking coke. Lola yeah, yeah. drink like Yes. I told them no daughter. There is no cooking cemetery. <laughs> you see, there is no cooking cemetery. Oh yeah. my goodness, that's so touching. So you want to enjoy your life now? Eight. Eight. Yeah. Lola, you know, I want to see you till you are 100 years old. What's your secret, Lola? Hmm? What's your secret? Like vegetables? Or... No, I have no secret. I eat pork, vegetables, fruits. Someone asked me. I know you have a long finger. Why is it? This one? Yeah. 
No, no. No, cut more, it's more. Only. <laughs> not long. Not long. Don't cut, cut this. Ah, so you are. Ah, you love? Go on. Did you bring this in your place? Not yet, Lola. Yeah, yeah. Not yet, Lola. Uh, you present this to your parents. Yeah. Yeah. I will present Ma, them as a gift. <laughs> This is my husband. Hey, Lola! Go there, go there, go Yeah, yeah. Go take your shirt, huh? Yeah, Lola. I will take... What's your name again, Lola? Masi. Masi. You know, Lola used to be a beauty queen of Toledo. So basically, there has been a lot of debt this month, you know, to celebrities, to people I know from a distance, you know, even to my own family. Just two weeks ago, in this month of you know October, my mom had told me that her grandmother, you know, passed away. And a week after that, I got the news that my Filipino grandmother passed away. Yeah, before her demise, she is diabetic, and she died at the age of 79. Yeah, I felt so odd. I I cried. I wept because. You know when you spent a lot of you know a lot of years with somebody when you know her personally when you've laughed with her you've talked together you've cared for her she's cared for you you know you are going to feel that you know that you know that pain and that was what i felt and i was sad that even in her last moment you know i wasn't there because the last time i saw her was august or september because i have been here in cebu city you know studying in school and my grandmother lived at Toledo, yeah, where Raymond is. So every time I go to Toledo, I always go to the house also where my Lola lived. And then the last time I went there, she was asking me for bread because her favorite bread was pandasa. And she was asking me, telling me, oh, did I bring bread for, for her from Raymond's bakery? I and Raymond both know her. We both have a relationship with her like she was Apart from her being diabetic, she was living life normally and she has been diabetic for long. Yeah, she is on, you know, she gets medicine every blessed day. Yeah, so I've spent a lot of joyful moments with her. And the last time I saw her, she was asking me for bread, if I brought bread for, for her from Raymond's bakery. And I told her, oh, I didn't bring bread along with me, but I'm going to come back and bring it for you. Because Raymond's bakery is far from where she lived. The last time I went there, because I know where my Lola sits, like in the day, she's always outside in the day. You know, at night she's in her room where she stayed at, you know. So I went to the house one day and I asked, you know, you know, the boy that, the boy there that, oh, where's Lola? And she told me Lola has been transferred to Cebu City because she was sick. I was like, what hospital is that? because I would also be going on my own hospital duty here in Cebu City. So I want to know if the hospital would be where I would be, you know, having my duty so that I can visit her. But unfortunately, she was at a different hospital from where I was. So I couldn't visit her at the hospital. I thought that it, it was something she would survive as she has always done before. And I would see her again. That was what I thought, yeah. So I wasn't at the hospital. I was here in Cebu City attending to school and everything. And then I came back home one day for my duty. I was so tired. I just laid on the floor. Then I was checking on Facebook and that was when I saw the post. My ad froze that, oh my God, I'm not going to be seeing Lola no more. She's a very, you know, witty, sweet woman. She jokes even at her old age. She speaks very, she speaks very good English. She tells me about, you know, her past, how she won, you know, beauty pageants in Toledo, how she was Miss Toledo, how, you know, everything. She would ask me a hundred times if I had eaten. She would ask me, Dor, because she doesn't pronounce my full name. She always calls me Dor. She would ask me, Dor, have you eaten your food? Have you done this? Have you done that? You know, she's very persistent. If you did not eat your food, she's super, super persistent. And I felt so sad. At that point, when I was laying on the floor, tears strolled down my eyes and that was because i had 
you know, a very close relationship with her. If I did not know her, you know, if I know her from a distance, I wouldn't have felt it. But this is somebody I see often. This is somebody, you know, this was somebody I saw often. This was somebody I spoke to a lot of times. This was somebody I ate with. This was somebody I laughed with. This was somebody I've done a lot of things with. So it's really, you know, I felt the pain so much, so much. Immediately, I messaged my ate. I asked her, how is Lola? And then she confirmed that Lola is no more. Yeah, I always call her my Filipino grandmother because, you know, She's like that. Am I getting? <laughs> ah, am I getting emotional? Okay. Whew. So I'm very sorry. I get very emotional when I'm talking about her. Even when I was when I was with Raymond, Raymond kept you know cleaning my tears because you know this was somebody i've spent a lot of time with this was someone that has joked with me that has always asked me where is your boyfriend are you going home alone is raymond coming to pick you you know always like that and then i feel sad because in our last moment i was not able to be there because i've been here in Cebu city just focusing on you know on education and everything and you know i have little time to spend with people that loves me that i love that care about me and everything you know, I feel so sad about that because I was here in Cebu City, you know, doing a lot of things. And even while she was transferred here in Cebu City, I still couldn't be there because I was so busy with school, duties, doing this, presenting this and that. And now my Lola is no more. I decided to share this with you because some of you, you know, I've seen her in my videos and I can't just, you know, act like nothing happened and move on. So I felt like I should share with you guys in case you guys never see me mention her again on my videos that, oh, she is no more. She died just this last week, you know, at the age of 79. And she celebrated her birthday this year also. And it's so sad, you know, let us, you know, spend quality time with people we love because we don't know what can happen at any time. So I traveled to Toledo and to pay my last respect and to see her and i saw her just there lying pretty you know in her coffin and i was just like trying to tell her that lola can you just wake up and stop joking you know you've had enough sleep now wake up and smile but that is not going to happen again yeah 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 and so i just want to tell you that yes she's dead she's no more but I am going to be forever grateful for the time, for the times I've spent with her, for the times I've joked joke with her, you know, her memories on my YouTube channel are going to be there forever. I'm going to see that and look like, oh, Lola. Yeah, you know, she always asks me, she always asks me when I'm going to Nigeria, if I'm going to bring them to Nigeria or if they are going to, you know, my parents are going to visit them in, in the Philippines. She always asks me that and I'm like, oh yeah, my parents will come here, I will bring them to you, you will see them like that. She always just about those things to me. But she is no more to witness all that. I wish she lived longer, but <laughs> we can't stop that. That's all I have to share with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. And you know, just leave your prayers down below. And thank you. That's all I want to share in this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.